Hello and welcome to the Embroidered Elephant channel. My name is Kim and thank you for joining me for another video. Today I am going to be doing part three of the American Fabric series and today I have another Christmassy one. It is a, it was a panel for a Christmas tree skirt so it looks a little bit like this, maybe not so bright. that's the first half of the video and the second half is going to be these matching stockings so I think that there are two stockings so two stockings and one Christmas tree skirt so originally when I thought about doing the um, Christmas tree skirt I did think about adding a lining to the back of it I'm not sure how useful this will be because obviously no one will really see the back of it. Um, thinking about it now, this is sort of, this is already quilted. This is a sort of padding. It's not a stuffing. This is sort of a, a quilted matting. Um, because it is polyester and it's not quite straight, I might add a lining. Um, our Christmas tree this year has fake snow on it. Um, so I'm thinking that if I don't add a lining, the fake snow might get um, caught on this and then it'll just be a nightmare to clean. I will add a lining, but it will be easier because I have got an overlocker. So it'll be easier to do the sewing and hopefully a lot quicker as well. So let's get started. So I've just moved to a bigger table because I need the space for cutting out the lining for this tree skirt so you can't see all of it but so it's as big as sort of half the table so you can see why I maybe couldn't do this in the bedroom. <laughs> so I've got two of these pieces one for each side and I'll just lay the back in fabric down. So I've got a lot of this, hence why I'm using it as a lining. So helpfully it did come with some instructions to make it so. Cut out the circles done with right sides together, line up the two straight edges, being careful to match the border. Baste a quarter of an inch along the straight edge. Turn over and check the border matches. Press the seam flat. So there's two ways I can do it, either with a hole in the centre so the tree, so it covers the tree base, or just for under the tree, I guess. So I'm going to do one that has a hole in the middle. So I think because they're slightly different sizes, it would make more sense to sew them together down the straight side, um, the two larger bits, and then sew around the outside and cut a hole out in the middle. Not really sure, this will be a bit of a, a fluke, I think. So after a long time thinking and thinking and thinking, I've decided I'm going to sew the, the top straight parts of the skirt together. Um, so that the lining and the front of the fabric are attached. Then I am going to sew them together and sew around them so that they're the same shape. And then once I've got my finished size, then I will find the middle, cut a hole out and deal with it then. <laughs> that will probably be easier and the most accurate way of doing it. Otherwise, if I cut a hole out now and they're not exactly aligned, it will look a bit terrible. <laughs> so yeah. So this is my overlocker, you haven't really seen it too well yet, um, you might not be able to see too too much, but I will see what I can do. Um, if you haven't used an overlocker before, it's similar to a sewing machine, however it overlocks the edges, um, which means that they are stronger. Um, if you're wearing a t-shirt or anything that's manufactured, if you look at the seams on it, they are likely overlocked. So you'll see that there's four individual stitches on the um, 
on the edges, which again makes them stronger, prevents them from fraying, etc., etc., etc. So, oh, this is a struggle. It's such a big bit. Don't be surprised if this next bit is silent as well, because it's uh, quite an obnoxious noise. <laughs> that's done I'm just now going to take all of these little clips off if you haven't used these sewing clips before they are um, they're so easy I do kind of prefer them to need uh, this to pins uh, you will need both of them for sewing but they are um, so so easy and they're rust proof as well so so once I've done that, I'm going to turn this inside out. And hopefully, yeah. So there we go. I've got the, the skirt is together and this is the lining of it. So I am very briefly going to stitch them together so that I've got the, the circle. Um, and in, try to ensure that they are even. <laughs> so the pattern says to cut out a hole that's four inches. I'm going to make it five, um, just because I want to be make, I want to be sure that it fits. So I've left a hole. So I've left a hole that's five inches. Um, now I just need to make it into a circle, so 2.5 Twist it up a little bit so that it doesn't lay exactly flat. Um, but yeah, it's quite pretty. It's again, it's not as bright as it, it appears to be on um, on camera. It's quite sweet and it looks nicer than um, not having it. I think. Right, so now that the tree skirt is finished, I am going to do these stockings. So as I mentioned earlier, I did actually do these, I cut them out wrong. So you're meant to have the right sides together, so that when you turn them out, they have the right sides on the outside, <laughs> not facing each other. So I'm just going to swap these now. Now these are really easy if you've never made stockings before. Um, I know how to do these, so I don't have to debate what should I do first? Because I know. What's that one? That one's for that one. This one's for this one. So I'm going to overlock the top together, turn them round and sew the tops so that they lay flat. Then I am going to overlock the insides together. That will make them neater. I'm just going to put a couple of clips in here so that I can make sure that when I sew it it's the right way so that it all matches up there we go 
Next one. the stockings um, this one has a rounder bottom than this but they're for me so it's all good <laughs> makes them unique I've just found two bits of ribbon so one is lace and the other one is this brown ribbon that I think goes quite well with the uh, pine cones in the design so what I'm just going to do is lace them together because um, I think that that will be quite pretty. So I finally finished. Was it worth the 20 minutes or so I spent doing it? Probably not. <laughs> but it's done now, so I'm going to fold it in half and cut it. And that will be the loop that they hang from. So I'm just going to zigzag over the edges to make sure that they don't come apart. Um, and then I can sew them onto the stockings. So I've just finished these. I'm just going to put them on the back and just sew them very quickly. I think I'm going to make them face the same way, just so that they both look the same. So these, if I haven't said before, are going to be for my guinea pigs. They are... They are rescue guinea pigs. They are very cute. They probably don't need a stocking, but that's not the point. <laughs> I think it'll be nice to put some carrots and some um, veggies in here. Maybe some little toys as well. Something for them to nibble on. happy with them they will be hanging quite low but if they are too low I can just um, make a knot in this so it's a little bit shorter so that's my finished so those are the finished projects so I made some stockings and I finished the Christmas tree skirt as well if I was to do the project again, I would probably do more research on how to do the um, skirt. I would use my sewing machine more instead of the overlocker because I feel as though it would lay flatter. Um, or there are also some things, rather than using pins, when you're working with a big area of work, so a lot of quilters use it, they use like little plastic tags that keep the fabric together so rather than bunching up underneath or it helps it to lay flat so I would use something like that so that it laid flatter whilst I was overlocking it or sewing it because it was a big bit of fabric I was working with um overall as I said um I thought they went quite well just quite confused about the Christmas tree skirt but I really really like them, I especially like the design with the poncietas and the acorns as well and the blueberries or the blue leaves, I just love it and the lacy design. 
So if I came across it again, yes, I would definitely do it. And these are the finished stockings. They're really cute. I don't know if you saw, but they do have gold detailing on them. And again, the pine cone design and the lace is beautiful. So they're all finished and they were pretty simple. Same as the skirt. Although a little bit complicated, they weren't difficult. Hopefully that makes sense. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if this has been interesting for you, you might also enjoy the other sewing makes that I've done so far with fabric that I've got from America. This fabric is actually from a dig and save, um, so it was very, very cheap. Someone had um, sort of thrown it out or they donated it and they didn't feel as though it was selling the shop, so they put them in sort of large, well, much larger bins that you dig through and obviously save money for doing so. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out the other ones and also to subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.